former President Jimmy Carter wrote in a recent editorial for Foreign Policy magazine that the UN should vote for a resolution recognizing the inhumane conditions in Gaza. I'm Morgan Thompson and this story tops your Newsmax Now update. The former president added that recognition of Hamas would provide the right incentives for the group to lay down its weapons. Harvard Law professor Alan Dershowitz joined us here on America's Forum and blasted Carter, saying some of the blood that has been spilled in the Mideast is on Carter's hands. Jimmy Carter has now become an all-out cheerleader for Hamas. Uh, Jimmy Carter wants uh, the United States and the European community to recognize Hamas, to legitimate it. And when you look at Jimmy Carter, he has blood on his hands. Now, Dershowitz was referring to and spoke about the way former President Jimmy Carter advised the late PLO leader Yasser Arafat. And the $16.3 billion bill to overhaul the Department of Veterans Affairs is now a law. President Obama signed that bill earlier today during a ceremony in Virginia. Obama thanked congressional leaders from both parties for passing the legislation. And he says America must take care of the men and... To serve you as well as you've served us. An obligation that doesn't end with your tour of duty. Every day, hundreds of thousands of dedicated public servants at the VA help us honor that commitment. Obama also addressed what he called the inexcusable mistakes at the VA and says the passing of this bill will help take care of those issues. That bill includes funding to build additional VA hospitals and allows the scandal-plagued department to hire more doctors and nurses. And now the front page story on Newsmax.com says President Obama may be considering airstrikes in Iraq. That's your Newsmax Now update.